Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about select statement in SQL. We have already understood about the select statement in the whiteboard tutorial, all the basics and why select statement is used. So briefly, what exactly is select statement? To basically select something from the bucket or from the database table, right? So in SQL, select statement is used to retrieve data from the database tables. So if you want to retrieve some data based on certain criteria, you want to select, right? So select plain English term, I want to select something from the database, right? Now general select statement is basically select star wherein, wherein I have covered select star is a star is a keyword or the wild card basically to select all the items from the table name, right? So select star from table name. So whatever table say, for example, we have taken an example of the tray wherein we had donuts right so select all donuts from the tray right so something like similar in database or in the sql tables will simply say select all or select star from the table name say for example employee data right so employee data is the name of the table which contains employee name age etc so we if we want to fetch all the employee records in the tabular format we will simply say select star from employee data which is the which is the table that contains the employee details right if i want to select specific column so i can simply specify select column name one column name two the name of the column say for example first name of the employee last name of the employee from employee data so it will only filter out and display the results of the first name and last name for the employees now there is another uh, keyword which is distinct so many times i want to filter only distinct values out of the table so select distinct helps us to select the distinct values from the column so say for example in the age column or in the city column the same city say for example new delhi exists for many of the values and i want to select the distinct city then i can simply say select distinct city from whatever the table name is right and then the where clause we have already understood that we can specify the condition using the where clause and based on that condition if it is returned as true or it is um, if the condition is true then it will return the values with this where clause right so let's quickly go ahead and i will go to the workbench and let's understand or let's fire these queries and understand all of these queries in detail. So this is my MySQL workbench. If you haven't followed the previous tutorial, go ahead and watch them because it will be really helpful, right? So we are, we have created one of the database, which is uh, the RCV online shop. And then we have also added some of the values in the table. So this is the table that we have created the customer table and this customer table contains the values, right? So in the left hand side, you will see that this is the customer table that contains all the values. Now with the SQL queries, if I have to fetch all the details, so let's quickly understand that. So I will open in this left hand side, you will see create a new SQL tab for executing queries. So I will leave this file as is I'll open the new file, right? And now in order to start executing or fetching the data, the first thing is we have to select the database where we want to execute the queries, right? So RCV online shop is the database. So to select the database, we simply need to use the database, right? So keyword is used and the database name. So I'll say RCV online shop and run this, right? So select and run and you will see that now we are using this particular database, right? So here we have done the same. Now we have selected or we are on this database. So now we can fetch the data that is there within some of the table. So there is customer table and I want to fetch what all data is there within this customer table. So how can I fetch all that data? Select query. So it will retrieve all the data from the table or the subset of the data based on the query that we write. So if I say select and then I want to select all the data. So the wildcard is star and then from where we want to select, we want to select from the table that is there within this particular database. So there is a table customer. So you have to specify the table name as well, because otherwise, if you don't specify that unique identifier, how would this query know from which table it has to fetch the data and provide you the data, right? So if I'm instructing Tom to get and to go and get me the red donut from one of the tray and there are 10 trays out there which have different 
types of donuts and red donut is there in many trays then tom will get confused and he won't be able to pick the right donut that i am looking for so i have to be very specific that okay tom go ahead and pick me the red donut from tray number two so similar thing we are doing here so select all the data from customer or from tray number one so pick all the donuts from tray number one something similar right so we want to select all the customers from this customer table if there is another table from which i want to fetch data i have to specify that table here okay so select that and click on this little execute icon and it will fetch you all the data from that table right so this is the data that is there present on the table and with this select star from customer all the data has been fetched now say for example i only want the customer name from this table or customer name and city from this table right so only two specific column i don't want all of the columns so how can i write i'll simply say select and then specify the column name so what is the column name of the customer name it is cust underscore name right comma separated city so i just want two columns from from which table from the customer table right and that's it right so in this case it will select all the data but in this case only two columns so customer name and city right so if i run this you will see that it has pulled all the data but only customer name and city for from this particular customer table right so this is how you will fetch the results or the columns partially from the table using the select statement all right the next one is distinct right so if i want to select the distinct columns okay so how we can do that so distinct column if i say run this query again so it fetches all the records and now if i want to see that how many distinct cities are there now you'll see new york is there twice and then new delhi is there new york is there thrice right so london is there twice so if i want to only fetch the distinct cities right so how i can do it i can say select and distinct right distinct what i want to select distinct cities from customers right sorry customer okay so select distinct whatever column you want to select distinct from the table right so table name is customer and run this query and you will see only distinct values will be picked up and all the duplicate values will be ignored so only once new york is there uh, new delhi is there london right so only once these values are being picked i can have multiple columns there as well so say for example i want to have the distinct city and the country as well right so it will fetch me the combination of that so i can simply do the comma separated so i can say city comma country from customer right so it will give me the combination of the city and country which is basically a unique combination for both the column right so this is about the selection of the distinct values from the table very simple straightforward plain english right now the next thing is where clause now if i want to specify a particular condition to pick the data from i can use the where clause okay so if i say okay tom go ahead select all the donuts from tray number five where sprinkles on the donuts is equal to red or green okay so i can say sprinkles is red so this is how the where clause we can use within the sql as well so here i can say okay i want to fire a query and i want to specify or basically i want to get all the data or all the rows from this table where the city is london right so it, i need to fetch all those rows where the city is london so that's where i can use the where clause so i can say select star i want to fetch all the rows there which have the city london so i can say select star from what is the table name is the customer right then where okay where clause and then we need to specify the condition so condition we want to specify is where city is equal to what city is london right so i can specify city is london and run this sorry we need to specify in the quotes all right
and run it and you will see that it has returned me the two rows where the city is London right so this is where you will use or this is how the where clause will be helpful for you to filter the data rows from the tables within the SQL database right so this is briefly all about the select statement in SQL and how you can select all the values from the table how you can select particular column you can specify the column name and the table name you can select the distinct values and you can use the where clause to filter the data rows specific to your needs right so this is very basic a beginning aspect but very very helpful in testing space or even if you are in development because these basic concepts you would use day in day out to basically filter fetch data and do your work in IT industry in especially in testing it will be a great help so make sure you understand these concepts absolutely clearly and are able to utilize them in your day in day out work at your project so that's all for this tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching